Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Judy here with my life as Geek Eye. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you on how to apply mascara. I know there's already hundreds if not thousands of videos already on YouTube on how to apply mascara, but honestly, I had about three friends request this video from me and so I thought, you know, why not film it? I'm always saying comment down below video requests that you'd like to see, things that you'd like me to help you out with. So if you've asked for it, I try and bring the goods. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I've got extremely minimal makeup on right now because I'm going to be filming more videos after this one. But if you want to see how to apply mascara, then just keep on watching. If you haven't seen my makeup tutorial for beginners, I did go through in that video step by step on how to apply mascara, but I didn't go super duper in depth in that video and show you step by step how exactly I apply my mascara. I did briefly touch base on the different shapes and sizes of mascara wands and applicators that you can find on the market. Like I said in that video, different applicators will work differently on different people's eye shapes eyelids, eyelash lengths. There's a whole different range of factors for you to consider on what mascara will work for you. So I'm not going to specifically recommend what type of mascara wand you should use or what formula because like I said, different things will work differently on different people. But just quickly, here are two examples of mascara wands that you can find out there. This one is a thinner one. I find this one doesn't really work for me. I tend to gravitate more towards the applicators like this thicker one because I find that it applies mascara better for me because my eyelashes are short and not very voluminous. So if you're like me, you might find that this thicker wand works better for you. In today's video, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Ecstatic Lash Paradise. This one you can find at Priceline or Chemist Warehouse or any place really that stocks L'Oreal. Now the first tip to applying mascara is don't go in too heavy. When you pull out the application wand, you're going to want to scrape off all the excess because the excess is what causes the mascara to clump up on your eyelashes and smudge up the top and on your lower lash line. So you're going to want to scrape off all that excess mascara and just build it up from there. If you were wanting thicker and more voluminous lashes, you're just going to have to build it up instead of going in heavy with the thick, clumpy mascara because that's not gonna help you. All that's gonna do is make it clump up underneath your lash line and smudge on your upper eyelid and potentially ruin any eyeshadow look that you might have going on. So with all that being said, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit closer and show you how to apply mascara. Now that you're up close and personal, I'm gonna try and stay in frame. Taking the mascara wand, Scraping off the excess, I'm going to tilt my head back a bit and apply the mascara wand to the base of my lashes. Now that it's there, I'm going to gently wiggle it forwards and back or side to side and bring it up. The wiggling motion allows your eyelashes to rest in between the bristles and apply the product more evenly. See how that simple motion makes the eyelashes look so much more full than on the side that doesn't have any mascara. So I'm going to do that again. Wiggle slowly. Bring it up. You're just going to want to do this motion over and over until you have the amount of volume, thickness, and length that you're happy with. Sometimes it's inevitable to get smudges like that. Like, I mean, even the best of us do it. So what you're going to want to do is not just scrape it off immediately. Sometimes the immediate reaction is, oh, I smudged my mascara. I'm going to scrape it off. Don't do that. Just let it dry. Apply the rest of your mascara. And by the time you finish, the mascara on your eyelid would be dry. And you can just very easily flick it off with your finger or a cotton tip. So just press the applicator at the base and wiggle upwards. See how I've smudged a fair bit there? That's okay. I find when I'm applying anything on my left eye, mascara, eyeshadow, it's a little bit more messy because I am right-handed. So that might also be the case for a lot of you out there. One side will be better than the other side. My left side is my bad side, if that makes any sense. So if you make a mistake, it's okay. It's just makeup. You can very easily fix it. As you get more comfortable with your eye shape or your hand movements or even the mascara that you're using, you will get better, I promise. Now where the lower lash line 
You're going to need to tilt your head forward so that your eyelashes stand out as far as they possibly can from your under eye so that when you're applying, it doesn't smudge. Sometimes it will, depending on your eye shape, and that's okay. You can always just let it dry and clean it off later on. And again, through time, as you get more comfortable with applying your mascara, it'll be less messy. So again, with the mascara, dipping it in and scraping off the excess, I'm going to sit it at the base of my eyelashes and wiggle from side to side, allowing the bristles to coat and sort of embrace the eyelashes. I'm constantly amazed at how the simple application of mascara can really just pick up a look and change the whole perspective of your eye makeup. While you could stop here, if you wanted your lashes to stand out a little bit more, you could always go in with a black eyeliner in your upper waterline. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Now this isn't something I do all the time because I, I just don't, it's not really part of my makeup routine, but I'm going to quickly show you how applying a little bit of black eyeliner on your upper waterline can really make your lashes look a whole lot thicker and stand out a lot more. So you're just going to want to grab your eyelid here, grab some black eyeliner, and just rub it at the base of your eyelashes there. Can you see the difference there? I've just applied eyeliner to the outer edge of my eye here and just simply applying a little bit of shadow on the outer edge of your waterline can really bring up your eyes just bring up the whole look there make it look like you're wearing black eyeliner on your upper lid but you're really not it's just creating more of a shape and dimension that you're wanting depending on your eye shape this might not work for all of you sometimes people have the eyes that sort of come down a little bit and look like the the cute little dollhouse door eyes if that makes any sense if you have eyes like mine sometimes applying a little bit of black eyeliner in the upper waterline just on the outer edge will bring up your eyes a little bit more i don't know if you can see the difference but sometimes that does help So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope this was in the least bit helpful to you. For those of you who requested this video, this is for you. I hope you guys give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. The wiggling motion, what am I trying to say? How the simple, simple. I'm getting sick. I think I'm getting sick.